Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to Celebrity Ring. We have some exciting things to talk about in this video and the topic we'll be focusing on today is what Addison Rae publicly said about Kourtney Kardashian and Scott Disick. But of course, before we dive into this video, I've got a question for you. Have you subscribed to this channel yet? If you haven't subscribed, you are missing out on quite a lot here. So make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you'll not miss any of our upcoming videos. Anyways, like I said in the beginning, let's go ahead and dive right into it. As we know, Addison Rae Easterling is a very successful star. She is a singer, social media personality, dancer, and actress. In July 2019, she started actively posting content on TikTok, where her dancing videos rose in fame. She's been in quite a lot of controversies throughout the years, but despite that, she is still able to build such a huge following on the internet. And with the popularity that she has, she's been able to have connections with some pretty big stars. One of them is Kourtney Kardashian, who used to be Scott Disick's partner for over a decade through the years 2005 to 2015. Now, as you've all heard from the title, what did Addison Rae say about Kourtney Kardashian and Scott Disick? Well, during an interview appearance on Watch What Happens Live on Thursday, September 9th, Addison was asked if she thought Kourtney Kardashian and Scott Disick were destined to be together. She responded with a blunt no, and that response shocked quite a lot of people, but it was the rather logical answer since Scott and Courtney did part ways. Since some of you guys may not know much about Scott Disick and Courtney's relationship and why they parted, here's a brief explanation. So they first met at Joe Francis' house party in Mexico. They were instantly drawn to each other and soon got into a relationship which was made public in 2007. They were together for two years and briefly split from each other, then in August 2009, they got back together and announced that they were expecting their first child together. As the time goes on, Scott and Courtney became co-parents to three kids as they parted ways in 2015 for good. The reason why they parted ways is because of Scott's substance abuse. This has been confirmed by Courtney herself, and she revealed to thecosmopolitan.com saying that, the infidelity, I only knew about it at the end, so I think the substance abuse was the deal breaker. Even Scott agrees that his behavior wasn't right as he admits that there is no excuse for his behavior. Anyways, that is how the two met and the reason behind their breakup. I could go on and on about the history of their relationship, but that is a topic for another time. That would be such a huge video. Not to mention, it's also pretty complicated. Alright, so moving on, some of you guys might be thinking, why is Addison being asked questions about Courtney? The answer to that question is that they are very close friends. They met because of Mason Disick, who is Courtney's 10-year-old son. Mason turns out to be a fan of Addison Rae's TikTok videos. The two then later established a workout routine and created TikTok videos and even dined out together. Since Addison and Courtney are friends, they know a lot about each other's personal lives, and that's why Addison is being asked questions about Courtney. Which really brings another question. How did Courtney react to Addison's response? Since Addison Rae made a response that was logical but also controversial, a lot of people are wondering how Courtney might have reacted to it. After doing some research, we found out that Courtney has not responded whatsoever publicly, which could mean two things. Either that she doesn't find Addison's response a big deal, or she just doesn't want to talk about Scott Disick and start a feud with him even further. The reason why we mentioned Courtney trying to not start a feud with Scott is because it was leaked that the two aren't on good terms. Addison was actually asked a question related to it on the talk show, but she shied away, possibly not wanting to get into more controversial topics. The question was about Eunice Benjima, leaking an alleged DM from Scott that showed him throwing shade on Courtney's trip to Italy with her current boyfriend Travis Barker. Travis Barker and Courtney have been dating for almost a year now, and they've become known for putting their affection on display in front of cameras and on social media too. The two have also kissed on the red carpet, which surprised a lot of people on how open they are with their relationship. People interpreted the kiss as a way for Travis to mock Courtney's ex, Scott Disick. It is unknown whether the kiss was intended to mock Scott, but a lot of people on Twitter do believe it was. Scott has not responded to this event either, so it's about a 50% chance that the kiss was just for Travis and Courtney to show affection in front of cameras for some publicity. Because any publicity is good publicity, especially when a Kardashian's involved. It seems that fans are very supportive of Courtney's new relationship with Travis. However, Scott doesn't seem to share the same opinion. 
It was revealed on August 30th that Eunice posted the alleged Instagram chat between him and Scott with the caption, Keep the same energy you had about me publicly, privately. The messages that Scott sent revealed that he clearly wasn't pleased with Courtney's trip to Italy with Travis. This sparked a lot of drama and it made sense why Addison shied away from talking about this as it would put her in a drama that she probably doesn't want to be a part of. I know some of you might find Scott's actions to be very odd. Some people even think that the screenshot is a fake considering that Scott and Courtney split back in 2015 after nearly a decade of being together and the fact that they have remained close friends and co-parent over the years while raising their three kids, Mason, Penelope, and Rain. However, this screenshot and leak is not fake and it came from Eunice himself. In addition, it was revealed that Courtney and Scott have been secretly clashing for a while during her romance with Travis and this got revealed by an unknown source so it may not be fully confirmed just yet. If you're thinking that this unknown source may be Addison, it's unlikely because she is said to not know much regarding Courtney's relationship statuses, even if she's close friends with Courtney. Anyways, the unknown source explained that Scott and Courtney are friendly in front of the kids and at family gatherings, but behind closed doors, they've been secretly clashing for a while and barely talk. The source also added that the arguing started shortly after Court and Travis began dating, and she's accusing Scott of being jealous and that she's moved on and found love. If you still believe that the DM is not real, Scott and his girlfriend Amelia Gray Hamlin's relationship fell apart when the DM leaked. What we can see from this is that Scott is most likely having trouble moving on from his relationship with Courtney and is being jealous of Travis quote unquote replacing him. It is understandable for Scott not being able to move on from his relationship with Courtney because they have been together for 10 years, but it doesn't justify his actions of shading Courtney's trip with Travis. Plus, since Courtney was also able to move on from Scott, he should be able to do the exact same thing. So that's pretty much about it. If we go back and take a look at Addison's response regarding Scott and Courtney, she was right. The two are not destined to be together since Courtney has moved on from Scott by having a relationship with Travis and her and Scott's friendship is falling apart behind closed doors. Though a lot of people think that Addison should have not talked about Courtney and her love life since it added more fire to the ongoing drama about the leak of the DM of Scott Disick. Alright guys, so unfortunately that's about all the time we have for today on this video on what Addison Rae publicly said about Kourtney Kardashian and Scott Disick. Since you guys have reached here, I just want to remind you guys to go ahead and hit that red subscribe button so that way you will not miss out on any of our future videos. Trust me, you are not going to regret it. Also make sure you guys go ahead and like the video as it does help us beat the YouTube algorithm and let this topic be delivered to more people. Also, I've got a question for you. What do you think? Do you agree with Addison Rae? Do you think that Courtney and Scott should be together? If so, or if not, make sure you guys do go ahead and let us know in the comment section down below. Anyways guys, this is Celebrity Ring and we're signing off for now. We'll be sure to catch you all in the next one. Have a great day everybody. Peace.